two quarters down, two quarters to go. The second half of BYU women's basketball is about to begin. Here's Jason Shepard on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Montana State 32, BYU 25, about a minute 15 remaining on the halftime clock. So we're getting closer to the start of the second half. Time for our Wilner and O'Reilly's Laws of the Game. Today's going to be a little different. Instead of quizzing you on NCAA women's basketball rules or laws, today's more of a rules fun fact. The NCAA Women's Basketball Rules Committee features 12 coaches from around the country that discuss and vote on the rules and any changes that need to be made. Well, one of those coaches is coaching in our game today. That would be Montana State's Trisha Benford. In fact, According to the rule book, her term on the committee expires on August of 2024, so her time on the committee is coming to an end. So a little bit of a different laws of the game, but I hope it's interesting enough that the coach of Montana State is responsible for some of the changes that we've seen in this year's rules and over the last couple of years being involved in uh, making the, uh, the rules and regulations that we see in NCAA women's basketball. Wilner and O'Reilly, immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. Clearly, Montana State came in and said, priority number one has to be taking Lauren Gustin out of the game. And in the first half, they have done a masterful job. Lauren, no points on 0 of 2 shooting and only four rebounds. I have got to think that getting Lauren involved and getting her the ball as many opportunities as she can is going to be a big emphasis for the Cougars as they take the court for the second half. BYU in the black trimmed in royal. Montana State in the white trimmed in the tan and navy blue. So sort of old school bib BYU colors for Montana State. Play has begun out to Dykstra. And now to Deaton. Deaton in the paint. Spins. Layup no good. Rebound Cougars. Riding defended by Picton. Crosses midcourt. Passes to Smiler on the angle. Down low to Gustin. Shot no good. Knocked away. No foul. Here come the Bobcats. But right away, BYU got the ball down low. Expect to see a lot more of that. Deaton, defended by Gustin, spins around Lauren and lays it off the glass for two. The Bobcats now up nine, 34-25. Smiler to Gustin on the elbow. Lauren backing her way down, has it knocked away, and another turnover for BYU. That is the Cougars' 11th turnover this afternoon. Dykstra picks up the dribble to Lamardo. Lamardo thought about the three. Back to Dykstra. Down in the paint. Spins baseline. Fadeaway shot is an air ball. Rebound Amari Whiting. Good defense by Davenport. Out to Smiler to Davenport. Davenport drives strong to the lane. No good. Rebound by Gustin. Her lay-in is also no good. Gets another rebound. And they'll call a jump ball. And BYU will maintain possession. And Lauren's upset with herself that she had a point-blank layup and couldn't get it to go. But she's going to have opportunities. They're going to keep feeding her the ball, although this time Lauren Davenport steps back for a three and a big Mountain America three-point shot for Lauren Davenport. And the Cougars back within seven. It's 34-27 Bobcats. Lamardo three-point range for Montana State. Now dribbles out of it. Hands off to Picton. Dribbles right to left. Pass knocked away. Maintained by the Bobcats. Out to Madison Hall. Her three is strong. Rebound BYU. Cougars can pull closer. Whiting drives into the lane. Down to Gustin. Who lays it up for the deuce. Excellent transition bucket for BYU. And the Cougars once again within four. Great pass from Whiting. And the finish by Gustin. Picked in with the ball. Back to Lamardo. Her three. No good. Rebound Davenport. 
BYU trailing by four, widening in the lane. A floater is good. Counted and she's fouled. Three-point opportunity coming up for Amari Whiting and the Cougars. And Amari can pull BYU within a point. Rose Bubakar will check in for Lauren Davenport. And BYU has come out in the second half with a renewed sense of urgency. Whiting spins the ball. Shoots. And it rims out. So the deficit is just two. And BYU has fought back to within a bucket. 7.15 remaining in quarter number three. Picton takes the handoff, drives all the way to the rim, but can't get it to go. Rebound, BYU. The Cougars can tie or take the lead. To Woolston, fakes the three, drives baseline, has it knocked away. Good heads-up play by Gustin. Hit it off of the head of the defender, off of Montana State, so it will stay with BYU. Whiting will inbound baseline. They get it into Gustin. Back to Rose, three-point line to Smiler. Kaylee straight away to Woolston. Woolston thought about the three, passes to Rose. They get it down low to Gustin. Double team comes. She's fouled before the shot. Her shot did go, but they're not going to count the basket. Lexi Deaton called for the foul, and that is the second team foul on Montana State. Bubakar checks out. Davenport checks back in. BYU 20 seconds on the shot clock. A bucket can tie or take the lead, depending on if it's a two or a three. Smiler, three-point range. Into the corner, Davenport fakes the three, drives baseline, uses glass, is going to be called for the charge. The bucket was not good, but Montana State had possession. It was a good aggressive move. I like the move. Just better defense. So BYU still trails by two. Picton drives against Amari. Drives baseline to Deaton. Short arms it. Rebound BYU. Another opportunity to tie or take the lead. Whiting. Down low to Gustin. Gustin moves over to the right side. Oh, and the lay is no good. Another good look down low. Deaton defended by Davenport. Kicks it back out to Picton. And now to Dykstra. A three-point shot. Bounces over the top of the backboard. And it will be BYU ball. And with 6.06, a 7-0 run by BYU over the last two and a half minutes. Montana State has not scored in three minutes and ten seconds and are 0 for their last six. BYU, another opportunity to tie or take the lead. They trail 34-32 and a turnover on a bad pass. Too far away from the intended target of Gustin, and it bounces out. And BYU's 14th turnover. Something that Coach Whiting told me before the game. One of the keys, cannot turn the ball over. And unfortunately, BYU has done that today so far. Give and go with Picton. Into the corner. Wide open three, no good by Jansen. Rebound, Cougars. Davenport pushes the ball. Dribbles behind her back. On the wing to Smiler. Smiler, cross court to Woolston. Woolston drives baseline, takes some contact. Doesn't get the foul, but gets the lay in, and we're tied. 34-34, five and a half minutes remaining. And a timeout taken by Montana State. The Cougars have come all the way back. It is 34-34 with 5.25 remaining in quarter number three. Back to Bozeman after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Jason Shepard for more BYU women's basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU on a 9-0 run over the last three minutes and two seconds. This game is tied. 34-34 with 5.25 remaining in quarter number three. Oh, for their last seven are the Bobcats. They have not scored a point in almost four minutes. They've had some looks, and unlike the first two quarters, they haven't fallen. BYU has taken advantage. 
It will be Montana State basketball, 24 seconds on the shot clock. 34-34 in this battle of the Cats. Waiting for the official horn to go off. It is kids day here. 4,600 elementary school kids in attendance today. BYU will have its kids game on Friday, 11 a.m. against Weber State. Make sure you join us here on the new skin BYU Sports Network and BYU Radio as well as ESPN+. Plus. They get it into Dykstra. And an easy lay-in, a good pass down to Bunyan. Wide open layup. And Montana State just like that back on top, 36-34. Calvert into the ball game. Woolston has the ball to Davenport. Knocked away, defense by Bunyan. Bunyan stops, steps to a right, little Euro step, no good. Rebound is fought for. Montana State comes away with it. A three-point shot from the angle is banked in by Malia Egan. An offensive rebound, a kick out for a three, and a quick 5-0 run by Montana State. BYU ball, 17 seconds on the shot clock. Gustin down low, has her shot blocked and out of play by Dykstra. But it was a good move by Lauren. BYU will inbound underneath its own basket with 12 seconds. Oh, we're going to take another timeout here. 4.34 remaining. It is 39-34, Montana State on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the All-Pro Capital courtside seats and rejoin Jason Shepard. Well, after a 9-0 run, it saw BYU tie the game at 34. It's a 5-0 run by Montana State, and they lead 39-34. It's BYU possession. 12 seconds on the shot clock, and BYU will inbound underneath its own basket. Kaylee Woolston, the freshman, will inbound. And they're waiting for something. The TV broadcast may not be back, and now it's back, and the play can resume. They get it into Gustin on the baseline, out to Calvert, and now swing it around to Davenport. Davenport. Kicks to Woolston. Corner three is good. Kaylee Woolston pulls the Cougars within two, 39-37. And Woolston now with 13 points, and she's 3-7 from beyond the arc. Cougars on defense now. Dykstra goes against Calvert. Can't get the lay-in to go. Rebound to Emma. Nice job by Calvert. Outlet pass to Woolston. Woolston crosses midcourt. Uses the screen by Calvert. Out to Davenport. Three for the lead is no good. And a rebound to Egan and the Bobcats. The home team up by two, 39-37. Dykstra straight away. Fakes the pass to Bunyan. And now gets it to Isabel Bunyan. Bunyan drives baseline. Floater is good. Nice shot by Isabel Bunyan. And it's 41-37, Montana State. BYU fighting back. Smiler, cut off baseline. Back to Calvert, three-point range to Smiler. Three-point from the angle. It's good! Kaylee Smiler pulled the Cougars within one. It's 41-40, Montana State. And another Mountain America Credit Union three-point shot by the Cougars. Three minutes remaining in quarter number three. Cross-court pass to Bunyan. Bunyan, a little give and go. Bunyan drives to the lane, up and in for two. Nice give and go between Bunyan and Dykstra. And it's a three-point advantage for the Bobcats. Davenport looking for Gustin Lowe. Kicks into the corner. Smiler fake the pass, drives into the paint. To Woolston. Woolston. To Gustin, up and in. And they'll call it before the shot, I believe. They will. No basket. So BYU trailing by three. An opportunity to tie it here with a three. Inbound to Gustin. Back to Calvert, straddling the three-point line. 
Back to Smiler. Wide open three. Can she do it? She can! We're all tied up. 43-43. A beautiful shot by the senior, Kaylee Smiler, and a steal. Amari Whiting comes away with the steal with the left hand. Bumped. No foul. No, they did call the foul. And BYU can go in front. Great defense by Amari. Couldn't get the layup to go, but contact, and she'll go to the line for two. Excellent defense by BYU. Amari with four points. The first free throw is good. Her first made free throw of the game. She was 0 for 2, now 1 for 3. Clutch free throw by the freshman. Looking to go 2 for 2. Second free throw is good. Two big Zions Bank free throws from Amari Whiting. And BYU has a two-point lead. Bunyan spins away from the defense, pulls up from the free throw line, and hits the jumper, and we're tied at 45. Under two minutes remaining. Cougars get into the front court quickly. Back to Woolston. Down low to Gustin, who thought she was fouled. Uses her arm to get the defender away from her. Probably got away with it because the ref knew she was fouled before. Banks it in for two, and BYU's back on top, 47-45. Jansen hands off to Madison, and now to Deaton. Back to Madison Hall. Running floater by Egan is good, 47-47. It's good ball movement by Montana State. We had four different Bobcats touch the ball in that possession. Smiler with 18 seconds on the shot clock. Drives baseline, cut off by Hall. Back to Woolston, her three, no good. Rebound to Deaton. Gets the ball into the hands of Egan, who has it taken away once again by Whiting. Bump, takes the foul. No foul was called. She gets the lay-in. That should have been a three-point play. Didn't get the call, but she does get the lay-in, and it's 49-47 BYU. Two big steals by the freshman. BYU up in front by two. Bunyan thought about the three. Cut off by Woolston. Now driving to the lane is Hall, and she's fouled going in for the layup. And Hall will shoot two. And can tie this game up with 36.7 seconds. I am amazed that they are not calling the body contact on these breakaway layups. So, the first free throw coming momentarily from Madison Hall. Free throw rims out. BYU's lead still two. BYU has outscored Montana State 24-15 in this quarter. Second free throw, no good, and BYU Comes away with it. Oh, Amari couldn't get to it. Saved it in. Montana State comes away with it. Good hustle by Amari. Just threw it back in to keep it in bounds. And Montana State was there. 49-47. Picton drives. A corner three is good by Hall. A good drive and kick by Picton. And Hall gives the Cats the lead by one. 50-49. BYU looking for the last shot. Six seconds remaining in the quarter. Down to Calvert. Calvert has it taken away. One second. Will Dykstra get the shot off? She will, but it's nowhere near the rim. And we'll head to the fourth quarter with the Cougars down by one. BYU had a two-point lead in this quarter, but a big three by Hall puts the home team up by a point as we head to the final quarter here in Bozeman. It is Montana State 50, BYU 49 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.